In the United States, at least one person is dead and more than 100 injured, some of them seriously, after a commuter train crashed into a station in New Jersey, situated just across the river from New York. The White House says the investigation is ongoing, but terrorism cannot be ruled out. Park Chung Hong with the details. Witnesses say the morning rush hour train never slowed down before it smashed into a concrete barrier at the end of the track and plowed into Hoboken Station. The governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, says the engineer in the train crash was seriously hurt, but is well enough to cooperate with the investigation. Pressed on why the accident happened, Christie said it was too early to speculate. He said the only thing known for now is that the train came in at a much higher speed than normal. The White House said it's not aware of any evidence the crash was caused by terrorism, but it's not ruling out the possibility. You know, this is something that uh, the, the National Transportation Safety Board is continuing to look at, uh, so I think it's too soon to rule that out. Uh, but at this point, I'm not aware of any evidence that would raise those kinds of concerns at this point. Hundreds of emergency workers spent the morning shuttling in and out of the station to help the injured. The victims were carried to ambulances on stretchers, and several passengers had to be pulled out of the wreckage. Hoboken Station, built more than a century ago, was a scene of devastation, with part of its metal roof collapsed and mangled steel and shattered glass on the ground. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.